First day of practice, how did it go? I think it went good. I mean, it was the first time a lot of us actually been put together. I mean, we were given the playbooks uh, a few days earlier, but I mean, trying to fit a whole playbook and work with people we never worked with, uh, it's just a little, you know, rusty at first, but we're just trying to work together and learn how to work together. That's the most important thing. How's it been working with the Lions culture staff? I mean, obviously they got a second, two first round picks. How's it been working with the Lions culture staff and what have you learned from them so far? I'm not even sure that their picks matter. I mean, working with them is working with people that, you know, are at the next level, and that's what we aspire to be. So I feel like it's just uh, being that sponge and trying to learn from them whatever we can and take it wherever we, uh, wherever we go because at the end of the day, we don't have a choice, you know. You always talk about juice. Is he bringing that juice, man, out there with you? Yeah, he is bringing that juice. He, 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 I, I can't tell you everything, though, because it's, you know, team privacy and stuff. <laughs> Um, I have a different name. You know? uh, I think we all have play styles, and it's hard to judge us uh, the same way. I don't know. I think we all think differently. We all have different strengths and weaknesses, but I don't know. I feel like I'm a really blessed individual, and I, I think I'm the best, and I think they should as well. What's motivation is I'm sorry, could you speak up a little bit? Yeah, uh, it looked like you caught Coach Collin on the field yesterday. How was it like meeting him? What do you know about the Steelers so far? Uh, I know they're in Pittsburgh, one. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I mean, he's a pretty cool dude, it seems like. That was my first time meeting him ever. Uh, but no, we just chopping it up. Uh, I end up, you know, we had to do interviews with all the teams and stuff, so uh, he said, that he talked to a couple of his guys. I hadn't talked to him yet, so he was just trying to introduce himself. Well, who do you lead on third with Ben Johnson? What's it been like with Ben Johnson? I mean, it's been cool. All those guys are really receptive. They try to give us everything we need to be successful. And they try to, you know, stand behind us. And they know how hard it is to come in the weekend, little preparation, and try to uh, execute every play and every down. So uh, I think they've been really helpful in that part. Who do you lead on for advice during this process? Uh, my parents, most of all. I mean, uh, my quarterback coaches. I just try to, you know, stay focused on the main thing, regardless. And just try to execute every day what is being asked of me. Like this week, it's being asked of us that we go out there and execute the Lions playbook and uh, compete. Uh, last week, it was focusing on training and trying to get ready for this and get ready for the combine. So it's just focusing on the main thing, whatever that may be. There's a pretty fine line between knowing when to stay in the pocket and when to take off the line. How do you able to kind of determine when to take to make those decisions? I mean, like I always say, I try to like take what defense gives us. I mean, if somebody's in the backfield with me, I probably shouldn't stay in the pocket. But if it's a clean pocket, I could probably stay in the pocket. I mean, I try not to have a like set thing in my mind where I'm like, okay, I'm going to run this play. Okay, I'm going to throw this play from the pocket. Okay, I'm going to throw on the run this play. I just kind of like try to play the game of football, you know? Do you, you feel like, like a month ago with all at the right time, like watching guys with Josh Allen, Joe Burrow, extend plays and, you know, throw vertical shots and do all that stuff. Do you feel like, you know, the league has now got a very good fit with the game? I mean, I'm not sure. I'm just blessed with the opportunity to be even talked about as one of the guys that could be possibly taken in the NFL draft. I mean, it's more than anything uh, opportunity, so I'm just happy for opportunity regardless. Well, I probably try to take from a lot of people, but like Russell Wilson, Aaron Rodgers, Matt Ryan, all those guys, I mean, Russell Wilson and his deep ball and his touch on his passes, I mean, that's a really cool thing I always looked up to. Aaron Rodgers and his crazy arm angles and just his mobility and keeping the play alive without having to like run for a lot of yards and Matt Ryan's anticipation. I just try to focus on little aspects that can help me in my game. So you watch I mean, not really, but I don't really watch the NFL that much except when I'm watching film and I'm usually watching defenses because you, you don't know what scheme you're going to end up in. So. I feel like it would be a waste of time trying to focus on a scheme to prepare for. I mean, well, to prepare with, but you're not actually doing it. So, looking at the defenses, though, I've seen him go against some of the defenses I watched. When you're watching NFL games, you're actually like watching defenses, looking at coverage and things like that. 
Yeah, and fronts and just responsibilities and how certain teams play. Like, oh, uh, this team's a you know pass it on and go team. This team's a carry team. Just different things focusing on how different teams in the league play their coverage. Because at the end of the day, they can play. This could be a cover three team. This could be a cover three team. They play it totally different. It's just understanding that difference. I mean, not really. Uh, Muhammad Sanu told me, so that's when I figured it out. I mean, he told me that uh, he used to like be at practice and Matt Ryan would just throw it like way before he even broke, way before he was in wherever he was supposed to be, and just because he knew the coverage, he would throw into that zone, and it's a job for the receivers to go and make a play on it. Like he's just throwing them open, like ultimately, and that's that's how you do it. Uh, he was training in Atlanta, and I'm from Atlanta, and I ended up throwing with him and a couple other guys. See what it means to, uh, to meet with Washington. What do you think of their new name? It doesn't match the Commanders. I didn't even know that. It does, it does happen. That's cool. Like that? Yeah. That's what do you mean? Obviously, they're not an expansion team, but to play for a team like that, that's starting like a rebrand, what do you need to be able to come in and help a team like that kind of get going? I mean, that would be cool. I mean... That's really all I got on that one. Hey, got a lot of draft experts. Being from Atlanta, what is Cam Newton? Tell us what Cam Newton is meant to you. I mean, we went to the same high school. I went to Westlake for three years, but uh, he used to always drop in and stuff. And I played for a seven on seven team. He always gave me a little like nuggets of information that I could keep with me for the rest of my life. And uh, he's definitely been a big part of that. You know. The you worked on since ball victory last game here. I've just been training, really, just physically training, mentally training, just trying to get sharper and sharper and prepare myself and try to fix all the issues and mistakes I had during the season. Like, you know, you're never going to be perfect, but to keep working at it each day, I feel like that's just the way to go about it. How important are a lot of draft experts out here that's been critical on the quarterback class this year. Does that motivate you at all to show, like, man, I'm ready to go on the next level, you know, when they really... Not really. Everybody's entitled to an opinion. <laughs> I mean, I just keep going to work every day. I mean, they can say what they want, really. They can say I'm the best in the world, the worst in the world. I mean, it is what it is. How important were your Liberty coaches in getting you to this point? Oh, uh, they were very, very, very important. I mean, they taught me a lot that I know. I mean, after leaving Auburn, I just decided I was going to be like a sponge to the game and, you know, uh, just focus on taking my athleticism out of the picture and just focusing on being more cerebral and just taking what the defense gives me um, and use my athleticism when totally necessary. So I just feel like they taught me so much, not only about the game, but uh, becoming a man and maturing. This is a showcase for everybody, but coming from a smaller program, that can include a lot of guys who are obviously at NFL draft level. Is that a really good opportunity for you to kind of be able to show what you do again, playing with and again uh, with the guys who work so right I mean, I guess so for y'all, but I mean, we all like, even the big schools and the little school guys, like we all be talking like, football is football. I mean, you gotta come out and play. Like y'all do it, do us dirty because we're a little small school, but I mean, <laughs> football is football. They work out every day, we work out every day. And I mean, our schedules, when I was at Auburn and Liberty were pretty much the same. So, I mean, y'all focus on that a little bit too much in my opinion. I mean, it's just more people at the game.